hi guys yes i'm in my robe you can see it um i'm just doing a quick video to give you a detailed review on my little golden goose collection i've amassed within the past um couple of months the very first pair i got um actually let me give you a little backstory so i'm a preschool teacher and the first preschool i ever worked at there was a mom that dropped her son off and she had on a pair of golden goose and i was like what are those so i went home um that afternoon and like google them and then when I saw them, I was like, oh, they're like dirty on purpose. And then I saw the price and I was like, oh, people really pay that much for a pair of dirty ass sneakers. But then the more I looked at them, like they grew on me. And then I ended up being like, okay, if I ever, you know, go ahead and save up enough, I'll, I'll get myself a pair. So I started like Googling like all different kinds and I came across like the glitter ones and some of them that don't even look dirty. You can get the ones that look brand new or you can get ones that look dirty on purpose or you can get ones that are totally glittered or you can get ones that just look like a plain pair of sneakers. Like they have the range and the gamut of whatever you want in your shoe, you can find it in within this brand. So I, of course, me being who I am, I wanted like sparkly pairs. So each each of my pairs have sparkles in them, some sparkles on them somehow, some way. So my very first pair, I went all out. I got this pair on Neiman Marcus and I've worn them quite a bit. So they look, they weren't this dirty looking when I got them, but that's the, that's the vibe of the Golden Goose is to the worn and dirty look. And the only way I was going to be able to justify buying a designer shoe, because I was never really into buying designer shoes only because like I would... I would hate to get them dirty because they were they cost so much you know as soon as you put on a shoe it's like a car the value immediately goes away as soon as you buy them as soon as you put them on your feet and while even walking around your house like people are not going to be willing to pay you what you paid for them for a shoe that they didn't buy themselves from the store even though they're brand new they're still not it's just the way that it is with the um with the pair of shoes like unlike a bag like you can pretty much get your money back for a chanel bag louis vuitton bag depending on you know depending on the the like um like the style and like if it's popular or not but with shoes people don't care they're not going to pay you full price for a pair of shoes so with golden goose it really doesn't matter because even with you wearing them for seven years or if you just buy them they look the exact same like the dirty look is is the way to go so i was i justified it in my mind like okay no matter how much i wear these shoes they're always going to look the way i got them the first day so that was that was the way i justified the amount of money i spent on them in my mind so I got this pair from Neiman and I wanted an all glitter pair. So I found these and I wanted I wanted a neutral pair that I was going to be able to wear with everything because this was my first pair. So I got the black lettering on the front and the S star stands for superstar. And then the GGDBC is for Golden Goose, uh, what is it? Deluxe brand, Golden Goose Deluxe brand. And these are the old schools. The old schools have the two Velcro straps and then they also have the the um, the shoe lace um, holes in them as well. I've seen people on Instagram lace um, lace uh, shoe laces into the holes. But for me, I just wear them with the two straps. But these are ridiculously comfortable. I was wanting these two years ago, but I was not willing to spend the amount of money I spent on them for them for me to have to break them in. That was like that was a deal breaker for me. I was going to get them. And then when I was watching YouTube videos of, about people saying that they weren't comfortable and they had to break them in and they didn't recommend them, I was like, no, I'm not buying those. I'm not spending $700 on a pair of shoes I'm going to have to break in. But I'm going to put those down because it hurt my arm. So um, I went ahead and I'm just going to hold up one. So I went ahead and was like, you know what? I'm just going to be done with uh, buying those. And then when I started my new job at the new preschool, I'm at everybody had them. And I'm like, they have to be comfortable if they're wearing them to preschool. So I was like, okay, what's the worst that can happen? Just get a pair. If they're uncomfortable, take them back. So that's what I did. I got this pair from Neiman. They were $5.95 and I, I paid like $600 even. Or were they $5.35? They were, I forget how much they were exactly, but I ended up paying like $600 even. And I, I paid for overnight um, shipping for them. So I got them like two days later, I believe. Um, and then I paid sales tax in the Carolinas. So it was like roughly like six something, like six, um, 620 or something like that. I think they were, I think they were like uh, 595 and then I paid tax and, and then the shipping, it came out to like 620 or something like that. But anyway, that's how much I paid for these pair. These are my first pair and I got these, I want to say last October, 
yeah, it had them in October because it was still relatively nice out. It was before it got cold. So yeah, I got these in October. And I got both of these are in a size, and these are in a size 40. Um, I typically wear an eight and a half, nine, but I went into the actual, before I bought these, I went to the actual Golden Goose store here in the Carolinas. And um, I tried on a pair and 39s were too tight. So I was like, okay, I just, I need to get a 40. So I'm actually glad I did that. I went into a store because I had already shopped for these and I knew that I wanted them, but I wasn't, I was unsure about the sizing. So I went to the Golden Goose store, tried on a pair and I was like, okay, now I know I can't get a 39. I have to get a 40 because 39s are too tight and 40s fit perfect. So the only thing that happened when I got these was like a, there was like a tiny bit of rubbing in the toe box, like up at the top for like a day or two. I mean a tiny bit because I'm very picky about like breaking in things and pain foot pain and all that i just I, I won't wear the shoe i would have taken them back but it was like a tiny little rubbing at the top of the shoe by the end of my work day around like 12 31 o'clock when it was almost time to go home but then at that point i was ready to go home so it was like okay it wasn't you know gonna bother me that much more and it only happened like once or twice and then i had broken them in the second pair i got as a gift um were these pair so i was i had got my my low pair and then I was like, you know what? I think I want to just get a high pair and then like I'll have a high and a low and then I'll round up my collection. When I saw the higher pairs, I was like, I really like those. I really like a high top shoe. I like the way they look and they, they elongate your legs. And I was on the hunt for the um, the um, Air Jordan uh, Retro 1s because they're a high top and they like make your legs look a little bit slimmer. And they're just, uh, they're just really like um, like a clean shoe. They just... And they're, they're kind of smart as well too. If you if you notice, if you're like a sneakerhead, if you're into sneakers, if you see someone wearing a pair of ones, like you can literally wear them to the office. Depending on how you style it, they won't look. They won't make you look like you're going to the club. But anyway, so I like that style of shoe. Saw these. Saw these. These are the mid star, and had to have them. And I found these again at Neiman, and they were six. I want to say they were like 635, 625, something like that. I ended up paying 670, 670 ish for these. So these were 670. And they have the um the glitter, the glitter um tongue part. And then they have black laces. I wanted to get another neutral pair to wear with everything. And that's what the back says golden. They both say golden. And this is another size 40. They fit perfectly. Absolutely no breaking in. The most comfortable shoe. These are the most worn out of all three pairs that I have so comfortable they go with everything i would literally sleep in them if i could that they are that comfortable and i have a wide foot and i'm not skinny by any stretch of the imagination and you would think that a shoe would be a little it would take a little bit for me to break in a shoe because my foot's a little ch on the chunkier side but minimal breaking in with the, with the low pair with my old schools um no breaking in with my uh, mid stars and absolutely zero, zero, zero breaking in with my running sole. So I saw a lady, I went, when I was going to pick up my, um, when I was going to pick up my mid stars from Neiman, I saw a lady that was in front of me, like doing a return. And I was like waiting my turn to, to get my pickup order. She had a, on a pair of running soles and I saw them. I was like, you know what? I saw those online, but I wasn't a huge fan. I liked like the old, like the, the classic um, golden goose look. But when I saw hers and the colorway that she had them, I was like, they're actually pretty cute. So when I saw them, I was like, you know what? I think I would like a pair of those too. And then, um, so I, so I started looking for a pair and then I ended up coming across these on Instagram. And when I saw the glittery blue shoelace and then like the leopard print, which is like a, it's, it's a print, but it's neutral. And then they have like the zebra print tongue and they have the, like the little dash of pink, little dash of yellow more. And this is calf hair. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's actual like calf hairs on the shoe. And that's calf, this is calf hair as well. Like you can feel the hairs. Um, Again, glitter. I love the, the, the sneakers to have glitter on them. Then you got your pink, you got your little yellow, like it's like a, like a splatter of yellow paint, but it's shaped like a heart. And then you've got like some, some black paint right there. I don't know if there's, that's actual words. No, it's just like um, black paint. And then they have like the little, the little um, piece of like rubber going up in the front, like some sneakers do. Like, it looks like an Air Max, like a Nike Air Max. If you, and I was a huge fan of the Nike Air Max back, back like 10 plus years ago, huge fan. So this kind of like put me back in that Nike Air Max vibe. Um, and then this other shoe has the same thing going on. And then they have like the little, um, golden goose like half star symbol i don't know if you guys can pick that up half star symbol 
in like the little um shoelace like um hole but yeah this is the third pair that i picked up and i want to say that i'm done but deep down inside i really want a pair of um slides which is like the tallest pair that not the tallest because i think the francies are taller than the slides but the slides are like this they're i mean a smidge taller they're like that much taller and then they have like this like little like thing like going down the front of the shoe it looks like a like a arch going on the side of the shoe but i think i want i think now think doesn't not mean buy but i think i want to add those to my collection and then i will seriously be done but i'm so um i like i literally look at them and i'm like i can't believe i have three pairs because i never would have thought in a million years that i would have one pair and then i got this pair and i was like oh my gosh i can't believe i have a pair of golden goose and then somehow some way someone was so generous to get me these I was like, oh my gosh, I have two pairs. I have a high top and a low top, so I can always have them on my feet. And then I saw these and I was just like, they are so fire. The the shoelaces is what did it for me. Like the shoelaces with the all the colors together, like this shoe can go with anything. Oh, that's the back. I don't think I showed you the back. The back says GGDB, athletic department. And you can see the hairs uh, a little bit better on the back too. And then it says a GGDB again. And then that's what the inside of the shoe looks like. It says running and then it says golden goose. And these are a size 40 and they are too big. But I kept them. You see how the other ones I don't, well, the, my one my one pair is like, I don't have them tied. That's the look that most people go for when they wear golden goose. They don't tie them. But because I get so much slippage, these are a size 40. If I ever buy running soles again, I will get a 39. I didn't get, I didn't even think about these being a, an entirely different shoe and maybe they would fit differently. But I actually ordered these on the golden goose website and these were, the I want to say these are almost 800 these were these were kind of a, these were the most pricey out of all three pairs and they came from Italy I got these from the Golden Goose um actual location these are all Italian made shoes and they're actually buried in Italian dirt before they send them that's what I heard but um I didn't factor in these were a different shoe and they're pretty heavy too um and they've got they give you some height in them so if you're short and you put these on and after you take them off you're like wow I'm really short because I'm I felt like like honestly like I'm 5'4 so when I put them on I don't it's just like oh okay you, you you know you usually get a, like a little lift when you put on a shoe anyway because of the sole but I mean these really give you height because when you take them off you're like you go down like three inches you're like wow I was really like that much taller wearing these shoes but anyway um I did not factor in these that these were a different shoe and I got a 40 because all of these are a 40 and they're I get major slippage in them so I recommend you um, trying on your golden goose before you buy them. I know you're excited about getting a pair. You just want them, but it's so annoying to have to send shoes back, return and do all that. Just try your best wherever you're at to get to a location, a Neiman, a um, Neiman uh, Nordstrom sells them. Try to get somewhere where you can actually try on the style that you want. So if you want a running sole, try on a running sole. It may not look like the pair that you want, but just try on the shoe. Just try on, like, I went to the store and I just tried on a um, a superstar. Um, it wasn't this shoe exactly because they didn't have it or else I would have bought it in store. But just try on. If you want this style, just try on any shoe at whatever store you can come across that has them. So that way you know, okay, when I order online, this is the size that I need because it will save you so much time and trouble from having to... Um, do returns and all that and it, it's such a pain but because they're a 40 I just went ahead and decided I'm just going to wear them laced up and tied so to give to like make them like tighter on my foot and I'll just deal with them being a little bit bigger but it, I mean if it really get if it if I end up losing you know a lot of weight and they just get to be too too big I might sell them um because then I really the, uh, just they'll be like miles too big and it, they won't be comfortable and they won't even look right on my foot if you know they get to be too too big but for right now because i'm in a nine they're not too big you can see the slippage when i step in them but i'm you know how shoes look when little kids put your shoes on and it's like oh it's so cute but their foot's like dead in the front of the shoe and there's like an entire foot um of space behind them like that's how i feel like they'll look if i if i lose any like a, a major amount of weight and i've tried to put those on so 
these shoes are tentative in my collection because of them being too big for me even right now at the size that I'm at right now and you know like when you lose weight you lose feet you lose like inches on like because there's fat on the top of your head and the bottom of your feet so you like actually shrink a little bit and your feet shrink a little bit because there's fat like surrounding your foot so just word to the wise if you're like on a, any type of weight loss journey or anything like that like you're you're definitely going to lose inches and you might your shoe size might go down because then like the width of your foot is not as your feet aren't as wide because they're not as chubby all that but anyway i say all that to say that i am totally enjoying my collection i wear them almost every day um I, as i should because of how expensive they are but um they're so comfortable they go with everything i literally wear them to church i wear them to work i wear them to the park i don't worry about them getting dirty because they came to me dirty when i bought them they are a very very expensive shoe i would not recommend these if if budgeting is in mind like definitely you, there are so many dupes out there walmart makes golden goose dupes um there are other brands at nordstrom and even that they sell that are just like golden goose i think steve madden makes sneakers like this vintage havana is also a really good dupe for golden goose and a lot of the women at my job wear vintage havana i own vintage havana um i actually own a really cute like fuzzy pair that you just slip on your foot but they're sneakers and they're really cute and i wear them a lot in the winter time um because they're like that um like the sherpa material but it's like black and white sherpa and they, they um golden goose actually makes a pair like that and i think they're called the sabots the s-a-b-o-t where you just slide your foot in but they, they're like fur lined they're really cute i was actually tempted to get those but i was like no i want an actual sneaker that goes around my whole foot if i'm going to pay that much and then i have my dupe so um i really couldn't justify spending that much on a pair but um i will link the vintage Havana website down below and i will link all three of these down below if i'm able to find them i probably won't be able to find these because these are an older style i'll try but i may not be able to find these these are still on the um neiman website and i want to say these are still available on the golden goose website but the golden goose website they're always sold out of everything your best bet is to try to go to like Norman, Nor uh, Norman, Nordstrom and Neiman for your Golden Goose if you're interested. And like I said before, try them on before you buy them. Even if, if there's a pair you want online, actually go to a store, find a pair that's similar, try them on to see which, um, which size works for you. But if you just are like out in the middle of nowhere and you can't get to one, you're just gonna have to try your luck and see which works for you. Watch some YouTube videos definitely mine will be informative as much as i can be and then watch the other ones of people this is totally like a niche thing golden goose are a niche there's not very many videos like there are like luxury handbags or makeup you know tutorials on youtube they're everywhere but like golden goose i found there's not that many so this is definitely a niche sneaker that not too many people you know not too many people are aware of and or wear in a lot for a lot of people it's just not feasible to spend this much on a pair of shoes but somehow some way i ended up with three pairs like i i'd literally look at them like how in the hell like i could have never two years ago i would have never dreamed about owning one pair like it was, it was i never would have spent that much two years ago but somehow ended up with three pairs but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna try to hold up all three just one of whoo, just one of all three of the shoes so that you guys can see and my little setup is about to fall and I hope it doesn't fall before the video is over but thank you guys so much for watching there's all three pairs and you guys have a great day bye